Attention! Although my content is usually family-friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Justice for All is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB content rating system, and as such, the videos in this Let's Play may contain blood, mild violence, and or suggestive themes. So, viewer discretion is advised. Well, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Justice for All, everybody! So, last time, well... We, wait, what am I saying? We don't need to remind you what happened last time, because obviously, as this is an important story-driven game, you will be watching every episode in sequential order. You better, <laughs> or we're going to come after you. No, we're not. No, we're not. No, we're we not. If you don't, then you're going to be confused at best and have massive spoilers at worst, and you don't want that. Yeah. Deep down in your heart of yeah. hearts, you don't want that. Beware. Anyhow, we're still on the Lost Turnabout, part 1-2, trial. From chapter start, go. Okay. September 8th, 1143 AM, District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Uh, amnesia? I can't believe my lawyer is trying to defend me in such a state. I, uh... Why didn't you tell me, sir? I'm sorry I didn't mention it to you. Oh, I know what to do. I heard you can fix something like this with a really strong shock to your system. That's what happened well, the first time, and that's how we got into it. Come on, lower your head a little. A Maggie kick should be all you need. Oh, gosh. Uh, no, no, no. I think I'll pass on this one. Come on! Uh, I'm sorry. Whenever I see someone in trouble, I have a hard time leaving them alone. I tend to stick my nose where it doesn't belong and try to tackle everyone's problems. Well, my head's one problem you won't be tackling today. Well, we're here to solve your problem first. We can deal with mine later. For now, do you think you can fill me in on a few things? Of course! I'd be honored to. Uh, well, I guess we'll start with my name, and then I can tell you about me. No, no, that's okay, really. I think I know you and your name pretty well by now. I was wondering if you could help me figure out a few things about myself. So, my name is Phoenix Wright? What a weird name. Hmm... This is serious. You really don't remember. I'll tell you what, sir. You can have this back, and maybe it'll help. This is... a business card? I got this from you! It's my most prized possession! You can borrow it for now, but please give it back, okay? Okay. There's some numbers written on the back. Oh! That's your cell phone number. Phoenix's business card added to the court record. Oh, can we examine it? <laughs> well, I think we should do that right away. Phoenix's business card. It's my business card. I hand wrote my cell phone number on the back. Aw, oh, not as juicy as I would have liked. Oh, I thought we could have, like, examined it and having, like, Phoenix's face like... <laughs> no, this is not Rise from the Ashes, no, so we don't, we don't get to examine evidence from that's all a, the different sides. I guess for now, we should stop talking about me and start talking about this case. This case? Yep. Can you think of anything that would be helpful for me to know? Um, what can I tell you? Uh, um, hmm. I can't think of anything other than this incident with that cell phone, but... Cell phone? Yeah! Your eyes lit up when we talked about it at the detention center, sir. Hurry up then and tell me! This might be very important. Okay, Roger! It was on the day of the crime, just before 6 p.m. I picked up a lost cell phone while on the walk with Dustin. Oh my gosh, she's so cute! She's in her, like, street clothes. And he's not. <laughs> nope. All of a sudden, the phone began to ring. Okay, I love her haircut. That's cute. <laughs> I can't, I never saw it from the side. And yeah, that dude looks like the most generic guy. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jeremy from Phineas and Ferb. I have no personality, personality yeah, whatsoever. whatsoever. <laughs> um, hello? Oh, thank you. I've been searching for my phone. Is this yours? Oh, I'm glad you called. We can meet up and I can give this back. Bad move! <laughs> Don't do that! <laughs> I'll be right there. Um, I'm sorry, I didn't catch your name. Oh, you can call me Maggie. Oh, that's why he's probably like... Maggie with an IE. We agreed to meet up at 6 p.m. Dustin and I waited for the person to show up. But they never did. Hmm. So where is the phone you found now? I gave it to you yesterday. Huh? To me? Is it that phone in my pocket? Oh, that must be it. Y you mean this? Do you think it has anything to do with the murder? 
I don't really know, but if my eyes lit up... Oh, this is you. Ah, you were here all along! You're so mean! I called you a million times, but you wouldn't pick up! Maya! <laughs> I wondered if it was her. And when I went to check in the courtroom, everyone had already left. Ah! Now who the heck is this? Oh no! No! <laughs> She's gonna be so upset! This is gonna be so bad. Let me guess, I'm supposed to know this girl too. No, Phoenix! Hey, good morning, Maggie! And a good morning to you too, Maya. <laughs> You're already getting into this, this is great. So, so, how's it going? Is there a word for worse than abysmal? Abysmal. Abysmal. Oh, and what if I said that everything would be fine? That's right, it's Maya to the rescue with the ultra-decisive, super-important evidence! Here you are, Nick! The thing you wanted me to bring. Huh? Oh, uh, thanks. What the heck is this? A list? Thank you, Maya, for coming back! <laughs> I thought I'd have to wait, like, three cases for that. It has about 20 people's names and phone numbers written on it. It was kind of tough, but I managed to find out some, uh, I managed to find out some dirt. It looks like these guys are up to no good. No good? As in... There's a group of con artists the police are currently investigating. I think these guys are members of that group. Names list added to the court record. I wonder, does Maya hang out with Maggie? <laughs> are they like best buds? Like, hey Maya, how's your waterfall training going? Oh, I'm fine! <laughs> I guess we'll find out more about that later. Why would a group of con artists pop up in a case like this? Don't look at me! Hmm. And where did you get this list from in the first place? What? What are you asking? Why are you asking that? You're the one who asked me to look this up yesterday! Oh, is that right? These numbers were in the memory of that phone Maggie found. Hmm, so that's where they're from. You're awfully forgetful these days, Nick. I hope I never get to be a forgetful old prune like you. Um, Maya, actually, Mr. Wright is... Mr. Wright, recess is now over. Please bring the defendant and return to the courtroom immediately. Oh, oops, guess you have to get going. We can talk about you being old later, Nick. W wish us luck! I guess I have all the pieces now, more or less. All that's left is to put it all together. I'm not going to lose this. I can't! Now my wonder is, has she been here, like, for a long time? I like, think she we'll, just, I think just we'll find back? out about or that. Or is it like, I came back today! What's up? And he's well, like, who are you? A, she met with Phoenix at, yesterday, at the very least, because he's okay. like, hey, can you check the phone numbers? Well, thank goodness she's back. Come on, Nick. Better get a move on. Y yeah. And imagine this being your very first Phoenix Wright case, being like, who the bleep is this? <laughs> <laughs> that would have been you. <laughs> September 8th, 11.54 a.m., District Court, courtroom number two. <laughs> the court will now reconvene. Please call your next witness to the stand, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor. But before I do, if I may say a few words. What is it, Mr. Payne? It's about the next witness. He has a tendency to say things that rub people the wrong way, you see. So I ask that the court may be a little lenient on... There is no need to give a preface. Just hurry up and call your witness, please. Y yes Your Honor. The prosecution calls its next witness. A drifter who was taking a walk in the park on the day of the murder. Oh boy. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> please state your name for the court, witness. Before I do, I'd like to clarify a little something. Huh? Oh, alright, go ahead. Just now, you introduced my wonderful self to the court, correct? Oh my god. Perhaps as a drifter who is taking a walk? This dude... D did I? But I will not stand for that! Now you've tinted the court's eyes and colored me wrongly. Sure, I suppose calling me a university student would not be the truth, but I can't just settle in and be evil as death. Everything in my life has to be the utmost highest top quality quality, and I'm looking for that perfect, not unbeatable university. I'm a rigorous selection process for my walk. -in. Yes, yes, I understand. I'm very sorry. I will be more careful from now on. W what is he? A human chatterbox? Meat, mail, old bag. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I am not re-recording his lines later, though. I'm oh, just going to okay. keep up as best I can. Okay. Uh, I have to question him? I'm trying to figure out what- okay, this dude is very stylish. Fashion, cars, women, glasses, <laughs> and of course, university! First rates only need as apply. As soon as I say that fashion. 
glasses? But you aren't wearing glasses! Oh. That's enough, your name witness. This guy, okay. This guy reminds me of, like, Carlos from Magic School Bus gone totally wrong as an adult. <laughs> wow! <laughs> oh, is that how you want to play this? Using your power and influence to keep the young people down. I see how you work now. You old people and your dirty tricks. Oh you fought gosh. you and me, but you fought wrong. I'm sorry, it won't happen what again. Heck, Judge? Don't stand <laughs> for that! Oh, man. I forgive you. All right, I suppose I can tell you my name. I am Richard Wellington, the drifting virtuoso with a PhD in drifting, as it were. If you wanted to, you could call me a university student in transit. Ahem, Mr. Wellington. On the day of the murder, you were taking a, uh, strolling through the park, correct? It would appear that you are attached to that word. <coughs> if you must, then by all means. But I remind you that I am in no way a prepubescent boy out on a walk with mommy. If you must know, I am... Anyway, please testify to the court what you saw during your walk through the park! See, you said it again, taking a walk. You know you- Shut up! <laughs> what you witnessed will do, Mr. Wellington. Wow. <laughs> Witness testimony, what I saw that day. Why would day. you dye your hair gray? This guy's, like, a, reminding me a little bit of Gilderoy Lockhart. From, oh, just a <laughs> from little Chamber bit. of Secrets. Uh, <laughs> Mainly also, his he narcissism. he has just lower eyel um, eye ma eyelash mascara. Yeah, dude, what is you, up with you do that? not need mascara if you're... Well, maybe I'm sexist by saying that, but I feel like if you're a dude, you don't really need mascara. Yeah, unless if you're in theater, and I mean, if, I mean, not. to be fair, if you're a woman, you don't need mascara either. Yeah, That's a complete mascara. personal choice. <laughs> Anyways, onto the testimony. I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about my life situation. I don't remember the time all that well, but I do believe it was past 6 p.m. Uh... All of a sudden, a police officer falls from above, right in front of my eyes. Without a thought, I looked up, and there I met the eyes of a charming young lady. Of course I remember her sweet face. It was that of the pretty defendant there. Ooh. The only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. What? <laughs> hmm, that was certainly a decisive testimony. The banana? <laughs> decisive? Nick, did you hear what he just said? Yeah. That's all you have to say? How can you be so calm? It's strange. My mind is very calm and clear. Maybe it's because I believe in my client. You mean Maggie? Yes, and if she really is innocent, then that can only mean one thing. That guy is lying. Oh, well, yeah. Banana. That already is lying. <laughs> you may now question the witness, I Mr. Wright. Meant, I bet he meant the, the mitt <laughs> that I said was a banana. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was really trying hard not to laugh at you. <laughs> That's a banana! <laughs> oh, <I'm just> like... <laughs> it looks like bananas. I'll find the truth, no matter how well you craft your lies. He's not crafting them all that well. <laughs> nope. Ugh. I was at the park all afternoon, deep in thought about- Hold me. it! So you were at the park all afternoon? You seem to have a lot of free time. <laughs> that was very rude of you. But then again, what can I expect? That's what you get from a man who graduated from a no-name trashy university. What the heck, man? <laughs> no-name? No trashy? <laughs> now, this might be hard for a mush-headed, feeble-minded baboon like you, but- I have to think very carefully about the future of our great country. How has no one shut this dude up yet? As the I, judge? I don't know. <laughs> but I thought you said you were thinking about which college to go to just now. Oh, please! Which university I go to will directly affect the very future of this country. What, is he trying to be that president? That arrogant little snot! <laughs> this guy is the worst and the best at the same time. <laughs> Time. But it was 6 p.m. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not naming any names, but... <laughs> How did you know what time it was? I see you're not wearing a watch, so... Is that the best you can do? Do you think you can discredit me like that? You're just a third-rate biased fool. I guess I can't expect real smarts from you. I guess I can't Grr, expect real this smarts from you either. This is really intolerable. What should I do now? Press harder? Or leave him be. I feel like if we press harder, we almost might get a penalty from the judge. <laughs> like, stop talking to him, make him shut up. So you're saying leave him be? I think we should press harder, probably. Oh, whoops. Well, I guess there's no point in pressing him for her. After all, there was a clock right there at the crime scene. Oh. Well, <laughs> yup, never mind. But we should, anyway. Answer the question, how did you know what time it was? 
<laughs> Let me dramatically flip my hair. I can't believe I have to deal with a worm like you. You're just a shallow man who can only slam on desks and point at people for fun. Well, he kind of has us there. Is <laughs> I guess I don't have a choice. I'll try to explain it so that even a third-rate simpleton like you can understand. There was this little thing they call a clock at the park. Did you get that? Do you know what a clock is? It's a thing that tells you the time. As you can see, oh, this is. Oh. As you can see, Mr. Wright, it is even in the picture of the crime scene. <laughs> oh, so it is. <laughs> I looked at that clock, and that's how I knew the time. At least we didn't get penalized. But if you ask me, the whole concept of breaking time into fragments is total and utter nonsense. A real first class person doesn't look chained by time. You want to wear a Ha! Foolish notion! I can believe free when you strengths. And yet again, another flood of meaningless words. Talk about a first class waste of time. In any case, all of a sudden, a police officer falls from above right in front of my eyes. <sighs> Holding a banana! <laughs> And how did you know he was a police officer? Dressed in uniform. <laughs> Man, he loves doing that, doesn't he? You obviously have no idea how powerful my deductive reasoning skills are. With one glance, I could tell just what kind of occupation he held. That shoddy do-it-yourself hairstyle practically we screamed down the police officer, and he had those cheap low-quality shoes. I suppose he was also because he was in an officer's uniform. Shouldn't that statement have come first? <laughs> wow, that's pretty impressive. Hey, Nick! Do you think he's figured out what I do? Even I haven't figured that out yet. Without a thought, I looked up and there I met the eyes of- HOLD IT! Who? Madonna? Of oh, Madonna! <laughs> Are you sure you got a good look at her face? Animals have this thing called an eye, Mr. Wright. They use this eye to see things. Are you seeing your In the animal? case of humans, we have two of them. Okay. Yes, even you. Good job. I don't care if I have them or not! Did you or did you not get a clear look at her face? That's what the witness was just about to get to! I would like to request that Mr. Wright not use such a loud voice during questioning! Sustained. Mr. Wright, please refrain from raising your voice in this court. Then please don't make me have to raise my voice! At least this dude isn't as annoying as some other people we've had to question. <laughs> or, um, prosecutors that we've had in the past. Are you finished? I'd like to continue if that's alright with you. Dude, come on, we were just having a discussion about the case. <laughs> about you? <laughs> of course I remember her sweet face. It was that of- Hold it! Madonna? <laughs> Why do you think it's Madonna? That's so you you're know. sure are you that you're not mistaken? Please, don't confuse your pitiful train wreck of a life with mine. Wow. This dude has no friends. I want you to call a famous brand name product, while you are only a cheap imitation. There is no way someone as magnificent as myself could have made a mistake. He came from the dollar store. <laughs> <laughs> he the, the 99 immediately. cent store. It's advertised as 99 cents, but it's actually more. Yeah. Of course, of course. Oh, ho, 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 of course. Did you notice anything else of interest, Witness? Nope! <laughs> the only other thing I saw was the banana that fell with the police officer. The banana? Well, it was actually more than just one. More like a bunch of bananas. <laughs> <laughs> okay, at least we're like having the same thought there where it's like, it's a bunch of bananas. You're like, Marty, it's a glove. <laughs> so that's way better. Now, what would a bunch of bananas be doing there? To be fair, the girl was carrying a bag that looked like it had groceries in it, so it could have been that, but... And why would I know such a thing? I'm only telling you what I saw. That's really strange. Maggie never mentioned anything about a bunch of bananas. That's it, Nick! He's gotta be lying about the bananas! Hmm, he could be, but... There's no reason for him to lie about there being bananas at the crime scene. <laughs> and what if it's not a lie? What if he slipped off the cliff? <laughs> well, maybe he thought he was seeing one thing and it was something else? If he mistook something else for a bunch of bananas, then that would be an inaccuracy. Think, Phoenix, think! If my client is innocent, there's no way he could have seen what he says he did. Which means if we can somehow show he's lying... Yeah, that's exactly what we need to do. She's right. She's got a sharp mind, but I just wish I could remember who she is. Is everything okay, Nick? Alright, you saw it immediately. Oh, <laughs> uh, banana? Banana! Okay, remember how last case, or last episode, I'm like, there's a really, really funny part that's coming up in the next episode? It's right. 
Oh, there. okay. Wait. Do Oops. that. <laughs> no, it's not her face. Sorry. Mr. Wellington, I believe I have the bananas you saw right here. Ah, so you knew about the bananas, too. Why didn't you say so earlier? <laughs> but I don't think you can use this as a way to pull more information out of me. And that's where you'd be wrong. M Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? Isn't that the baseball glove? Huh? W what? A, a baseball glove? Doesn't it look delicious? Care for a bite? <laughs> That's... that's not... it's a... no! Your Honor, I think this proves one very important fact. This witness... Is stupid. Mr. Wellington loves large bananas! <laughs> and that's the thing. That was the thing you said. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this, this screenshot right here was put in Nintendo Power advertising the game. <laughs> Mr. Wellington loves large bananas! <laughs> uh, Nick? I hope you've noticed the icy glares we're getting from everyone in here! I just eventually <laughs> want the audience to, like, to, like, silent, and then just have everyone start <laughs> laughing. <laughs> That'd be great. That's what well, I want. What in the world do you mean? I'll have you know, I like strawberries much better than bananas. One thing he and I completely agree on. Bananas are disgusting. Like bananas. Strawberries are amazing. Yeah, Artie has a, something he loves to quote <laughs> from a movie <laughs> about bananas. That's stupid. Who would eat a banana? <laughs> Look like, it over one more time and try again, Mr. Wright. This witness loves bananas, has bad eyesight, knows nothing about baseball. Knows <laughs> nothing about baseball. Mr. Wellington has never played baseball. That would explain why he didn't even know what a glove is. <laughs> uh, Nick? I hope you've noticed the icy glares we're getting from everyone in here. Wh what in the world do you mean? When I was in junior high, I was a star pitcher. Well, fourth in line, actually, but... <laughs> Whoops. Fourth in line for <laughs> pitching? Oh, so there's the two pitchers for the whole thing, then there's, like, the sick replacement, and then there's the second sick, sick replacement. Oh, and well, then there's him after that. No, Wellington, uh, all four of our pitchers are sick. We need you. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! He's eating strawberries. You can get off the bench. <laughs> Think it one more time and uh, try it again, Miss Wright. This witness has bad eyesight. By the way, just how bad are your eyes? As bad as my huh? parents. How, well, you, why are you asking me about that all of a sudden? Your Honor, it is very simple to mistake a glove for a bunch of bananas. <laughs> no, I don't think so. Objection overall. Thank you, Judge. <laughs> you, you, you're one of those people. Yes, you know what I mean. You're like uh, those people who refuse to no accept Galloway over his Copernican theory. You two really said that there are new possibilities. Sure, in the end, we find out that the glove is not a banana, but with you from afar, you think there's room for doubt, don't you? That and no that is why I ask you how bad your eyesight is. Dude, I understand. The bulb 2025. I suppose you're going to tell me that's terrible, right? Why are you not wearing your glasses today, then? Um, that's because I lost them recently, you see. Of course, I was planning on getting a new pair made right away, but, you know, my glasses are no ordinary glasses, so to replace them... I get it. Completely. Because if you need to get a new pair of glasses, they'll be like, Well, your new glasses will be in about, like, two months, because we have to cut them to your eyes and <laughs> cut the frames for your face. And, yep, I get glasses. I understand. How about when you witnessed the crime? Were you wearing your glasses then? <laughs> Don't choke yourself. Well, how about it, witness? Y you are an unrelenting evil man. You're oh. like those people who rejected Joy Lock and Brutal Death. She was a brave and courageous, only to become a horrible and religious people, and she did do anything wrong. She was so gruesomely burned at the. Which boils down to that you were not wearing your glasses at the time. Therefore, the identity of the woman at the scene of the crime and that of the defendant cannot be proven to be the same by this witness. But the height difference was only nine feet! It was very possible for him to see the face of the culprit standing on the upper path! Hmm... Witness, please be more accurate in your testimony. Remember, a person's life is at stake. 
J just your honor. Now then, please continue with your testimony. Please tell the court what happened next in the moments after you witnessed the crime. Oh, this dude. Witness testimony, what happened next. Oh, he's already... He's already breaking. This is great. I wonder... I wonder, um, if, like, wearing glasses, he just looks, like, completely different. If it's, like, an anime moment. Because in anime, sometimes they'll be like, oh, the dude has really small eyes. And then, like, he puts glasses on, it's like... Pfft. And they get jacked. I don't know. Maybe, like, he'll look like a different person, and then they'll be like, Oh, it's that dude from that gang who robbed the bank recently, or whatever. <laughs> what? <laughs> I don't know. Like, maybe, maybe he has connections to someone else, and, like, the glasses will make it look more apparent that he looks like that. Okay. He still looks a little, um, recognizable, though, anyway. So yeah. I don't know. Maybe, maybe the glasses will be a big thing. The girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized I was there. After that, I immediately called the police station to report the crime. It must have been 6.45 p.m. when I made the call. It must have been 6.45 p.m., okay. <laughs> they must have had a lot of free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. Well, but how close is the park to the police station? It could be close. I mean, seeing as how both Maggie and Dustin, who were police, police officers, officers, were going on a walk in the park in between their shifts. It must <laughs> Probably have been close. pretty close. Hmm. So the person who was on the upper path saw you and then ran away. Yes, that is correct. Which is why even someone without a superior brain like mine can understand that. That girl is the murderer. You may question the witness now, Mr. Wright. I mean, she looks pretty buff, so maybe. <laughs> like Penny. <laughs> yeah, like Penny! <laughs> the girl on the upper path ran away as soon as she realized- HOLD IT! She ran away just like that. Yes, she did. She saw me and she flew the nest like the guilty bird she is. Ha ha ha. Ha ha. Oh, I'm sorry. Was that pun too hard for someone who only got a third-rate education? Ha. Actually, that did take me a few seconds. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, if she ran away the instant you saw her, or she saw you, how could you tell it was my client? <laughs> the witness has already answered that question. He has stated that the defendant is the culprit! But that doesn't prove anything. That is true, Mr. Wright. I'm striking your question from the record. Hmm. How can I get more information out of him? I mean, considering we just had amnesia, we're doing pretty well. That is true. Immediately? As in... As in immediately. I mean, sure, a minute might have elapsed before I did, but... That's the duty of every good citizen. Or did they not teach you that at your beautiful school? You think people learn about how to call the police in college? <laughs> hey, Nick, I think you should take a look at the court record for a sec. Alright. It must have been 6.45 when I okay. made the call. What? I was gonna say something that I almost I forgot. Right now. Shoot. I had it. What was it going to be? From learning about calling the police in college? No, it was before that. He immediately... Maybe a minute later, called the police. Dang it, my brain. Mr. Wellington loves large bananas. No, it wasn't that! <laughs> <laughs> it, it, that's too far back. <laughs> oh no, I, now I know what I was gonna say. What? One of my friends got a concussion once, basically had amnesia, couldn't remember things. It, like, lasted for a long period of time, though. And, like, basically had the same thing that happened for Phoenix, where he's like, um, who are you? What's going on? And, like, it took forever for it to be better, so I'm surprised how well Phoenix is doing day one of getting hit in the head. With fire extinguisher. <laughs> was it a fire extinguisher? Yeah. He, oh. had, he had, like, a fire extinguisher in his hands at the beginning. <laughs> how do you know what time it was? That, de that detective told me. You know which one I mean. The one with the jacket that makes him look like a dropout from a no-name high school? Yeah, actually. Hey, pal! I graduated from a pretty good, I mean, top-ranked college! <laughs> <laughs> I don't believe this. It doesn't matter. I don't believe I was mistaken on what time I called. I hope your phone was... Oh, actually, no, the, the clock would have been okay. And if I'm wrong, then that detective obviously doesn't know how to tell time. What? Why are you... You're just some lousy kid who... See your point. Anyway, how did the police still respond? They must have had a lot of time, free time on their hands since they showed up within 10 minutes. So you're saying that there were police on the scene by 7 p.m.? They got there before that, I think. 
They usually are there usually aren't many people in that area at that time of day. But suddenly, before I knew it, there were people crawling all over gawking. Well, if there's a murder in the park and you're going for an evening walk, which many people do in the park, <laughs> it would be pretty uh, surprising, to say the least. It certainly says something about the morals of the people in this country. Uh, I can't find anything out of the ordinary in his testimony. Why don't you take one more look at the court record? Yeah, I guess I should. Um, okay, let's look. No. Attorney's badge. Cell phone, man, you found in the park. Contacted the owner, but they never showed. Dustin's autopsy report. Time of death, 6.28 p.m. Broken neck. Body was covered in You would have waited a very long time to call the police, then. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, let me just hang out here for... Is it 15 minutes? Yeah, what is 15 minutes? 15 minutes But you have to remember, Marty. He loves large bananas. And there were bananas right there. He had okay. to admire them first. Um... <laughs> I understand I'm never shock, gonna let that okay? go. I'm I never understand gonna let that go. if, like, you're in shock from seeing a murder, if you've ever witnessed a murder, I'm sure it must have been terrible. However, waiting 15 minutes to call the police would have been completely ridiculous. <laughs> so that's what you're saying. Which makes me, yeah, which makes me think that that is, um, yeah. Alrighty then. So, and I, OBJECTION! I SAID OBJECTION! <laughs> OBJECTION! OBJECTION! Oh, forget it! <laughs> the microphone isn't working. Mr. Wellington, would you please take a look at this? You mean the victim's autopsy report? According to this, the murder occurred at 6.28pm. So what of it? You waited 15 minutes before you called the police? <laughs> so you said that you called the police immediately after the murder took place. However, by the time you had called the police, it was already 6.45 p.m. There is clearly a 15-minute gap here. Do you deny it? I think this court would like to hear what you were doing during this 15-minute gap. The witness was in shock at the time after witnessing a terrible murder. It's only to be expected that he would be a little dazed. Fifteen minutes is hardly what I would call a little daze. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wellington? Yes? Explain yourself. What were you doing during those fifteen minutes? Answer the question. I, uh, telephone. Uh, I mean... Spit it out! I, I was searching for a phone booth. It was right there! A phone booth? You mean you don't have a cell phone? You and your questions, as if you're trying to open all the layers of a metric shock. That's all from Russia that I don't know how to pronounce. <laughs> you must be really something special. <laughs> Witness. I, I lost my cell phone. There, are you happy? Oh, well, I bet he uh, came then looking for his cell phone. You to get lost it? Him? And then was like, oh, <laughs> this guy's dead. All right, well. Unbelievable. You lose your glasses and your cell phone. You must be very scatterbrained when it comes to your belongings. What? Are you saying that first-rate people are never allowed to lose things? Haven't you ever heard of all geniuses have a strange quirk or two and buy that rationale since I have that quirk? I'm a genius. Therefore, I don't think it's plain people can understand. Enough. Oh, man. Oh, man. Wait, hold on a second. He lost his cell phone? Nick, that cell phone could be! You mean this phone Maggie found? There's no way. Don't give it back to him! Boy, I didn't see this coming. What should I do now? Question for, for or back off. I don't even really know why I ask you these things, because you know I'm going to do every right. possible thing. Second thing I want to mention. What? How is Winston Payne still employed? <laughs> he fails every mission! He's like in his 50s, and he's like, Oh, well, another murder trial to go to! And then, like, and then he fails every time. <laughs> it's been in this one where it's like, Okay, let's see. Victim fell to his death. Neck got snapped. He was paralyzed. Oh, he wrote the killer's name! Perfect! <laughs> Best of pain, are you sure? Yes! It's probably just a coincidence. I mean, what are the chances that this phone is that snobs anyway? Nick, what do you think you're doing? You really should check out this lead! 
Is there a problem, Mr. Wright? No, no, Your Honor. I should give this some more thought. Boy, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> Mr. Wellington, where is your cell phone right now? <laughs> what are you getting all excited about? You seem to be a little confused. I found my phone, I'll have you know. See, here it is. Oh, I see. Um, hmm. I wonder if he's a tw I got a twin. <laughs> Mr. Wellington has a twin who no, loves large bananas. <laughs> no, what if he has a twin and they have, like, identical phones? Or... That's possible. I don't know. <laughs> it's definitely a possibility. Hmm, looks like he's got his phone. And I thought that just maybe that was his. Hmm. Well then, I think we've cleared this issue up. At the time of the murder, the witness did not have his cell phone because he had lost it. Oh! Therefore, I wonder. the delay in his co the call was caused by his search for a phone booth. What? I wonder if we have an identical phone to his. And when he knocked us out, he swapped phone. Or no. How would that work though? Because we woke up to the weird um the music. Right. How would we have gotten his phone then? Wait, the day before we had it, Maggie gave it to us? Yes. Maggie gave it to us. Okay. So at that point, we had the weird cell phone and our cell phone. Both. Okay, maybe he took ours, and ours is exactly the same type of phone as his. Okay, if that's your theory then? Yeah, maybe because uh, we haven't been able to call Maya. Maya couldn't get our calls. Or she can't, couldn't call us. We weren't getting the calls, so maybe that's it. Okay, that's a good theory. One of the only good theories I've had. <laughs> uh, I'm talking about Gordy. I'm calling the Gordy suit and Bob is shooting her own camera. Well, she's shooting her own camera. <laughs> I have this camera. No. is <laughs> shooting a gun to shoot her gun to shoot the camera. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's the gist of it. I guess you could put it this way and leave it at that. Do you have any further questions, Mr. Wright? No further questions. There is something. Uh, I mean, we have to say there's something, otherwise we'll be like, Well, he's fine! <laughs> hmm. No, I think I'm done here, Your Honor. Wait, wait, wait! What is with you today, Nick? Take a good look at the court record. Huh? What are you talking? Ah! Ah! What is it, Mr. Wright? By your screaming, I assume you have a question after all. Your Honor, the witness's testimony does not make sense. I don't believe that there was ever a need for the witness to search for a phone. Well, yeah. How dare you! You can't just make outrageous claims like that! You do have some sort of proof, don't you? Well, yeah, of course! This evidence should be good enough, I think. Alright, let's have this proof, then. Please present proof that the witness had no need to search for a public payphone. Uh, let's look at the- My button. attorney's bag! Oh wait, I, I, I mapped it to the wrong button, whoops. It's very simple! This is the evidence that backs up my claim. And yet again, you have presented this court with an obscure, meaningless item. Huh? This evidence? It's meaningless? I don't get it at all! Why do you think he wouldn't need to look for a phone in the first place? Well, that's because... I was looking at the evidence and it just hit me. I thought, hey, he really didn't have to look for a phone. Then why don't you hurry up and present that piece of evidence? Hmm, now what was that piece of evidence again? Alright, let's have the proof then. I need to see the photos. Oh, looky, looky there. <laughs> looky, looky, Garfield, looky, looky. <laughs> it's quite simple, actually. Please take a look at this. At the crime scene photo. Is there a problem with it? Oh, there's nothing wrong with the picture. But if you don't understand my logic after looking at it, something is wrong with you. Wow! It's... it's... a phone booth. That is correct. All the defendant had to do was walk three steps. Mr. Wellington, why did you not use the phone that was right in front of you? Yeah! It was out of order. Maybe Superman was in it. Order, order. Maybe uh, Arthur Weasley and Harry Potter were going to the Ministry of Magic. Oh, in I Japan. I forgot about uh, that scene. Japanifornia, not Japan. Order, Sandra order. And Okio and all that. Well, what is reporting this crime a little late proof for you? 
The witness can't explain what he was doing for those 15 minutes. Winston Payne, you suck at your job. That is reason enough to throw suspicion on his testimony. Yes, this is very true. What do you have to say for yourself, witness? Then I bet this phone really is his, Nick! He must have killed Dustin to get his phone back. But Maggie said that she was going to return it to him. So there was no reason for him to kill for it. Well, maybe she, he was, like, struggling with her and Dustin was like, Uh-uh, not my girl! And then they got in a big fist fight and he threw it off. <laughs> a the big game. fist fight! <laughs> Maggie would have told us about that, though. <laughs> well, I don't know. The witnesses are sometimes just like, Well, I forgot about this super crucial important fact. <laughs> and on top of that, we still have the phone she found anyway. Hmm. But if he wasn't looking for his cell phone, was he looking for something else? Was, was he? He was looking for Maggie. Mr. Wright? He wanted Maggie. Yes, Your Honor? Do you have any thoughts you would like to share with the court? Can you offer an explanation as to what the witness was doing during those 15 minutes? I have an idea. I have no idea. <laughs> you gotta be honest. I'm afraid it's too early to say anything for sure at this time. I see. Mr. Payne? We will, will we be hearing further testimony from the prosecution? No, Your Honor! That is all!